Ming Palace was located in Nanjing, China. It started to be built in 1367 and finished in 1368. In the same year of this palace was finished, Zhu Yuanzhang founded the Ming Dynasty and cite Nanjing as the capital. This palace became the first imperial palace of Ming. In 1398, Zhu Yuanzhang passed away. His grandson Zhu Yunwen became the second emperor of Ming, known as the Emperor Jianwen. Jianwen still lived in this palace. In 1402, Prince Yan of the first rank, Zhu Di, known as the Emperor Yongle, who was Jianwen's uncle and the third emperor of Ming, conquered Nanjing. Jianwen burned the Ming Palace and escaped. His empress died in fire. Yongle lived in Ming Palace for eighteen years. In fourteen twenty. Forbidden City of Beijing was finished. Emperor Yongle officially relocated the capital to Beijing and kept Nanjing as reserve capital. Ming Palace, as the imperial palace of reserve capital, maintained by Ming Dynasty government. But with the Ming became weaker and weaker, the central government. Didn't have money to maintain this palace. In late Ming Dynasty, most part of Ming Palace was destroyed. In 1644, Qing conquered Beijing. Prince Fu of Ming escaped to Nanjing and founded a small court. They repaired some main parts of Ming Palace as their imperial palace. But one year later, Qing army conquered Nanjing. Ming Palace was totally abandoned. Forbidden City was located in Beijing, China. It was built from 1406 to 1420. The first emperor who lived here was the Emperor Yongle. Then, as the imperial palace. Forbidden City was used by thirteen Ming emperors. In 1644, Li Zicheng conquered Beijing. He self-crowned as the emperor and lived in Forbidden City. Several months later, Ming military leader Wu Shangui helped the Qing army conquer Beijing. Li Zicheng had to escape. Before Liu, he burned the Forbidden City. Most of parts were destroyed. Only six palaces were survived. When Qing government rebuilt Forbidden City, they combined Han and Manchuria styles. The Emperor Shunzhi was the first Qing emperor who lived in the Forbidden City. Then this palace. Was used by other nine Qing emperors. In 1912, the Empress Dowager Longyu announced the Qing Dynasty was officially finished, but the royal family still lived in Forbidden City until 1924. When the last emperor of Qing, Puyi, left Forbidden City, he didn't burn this palace, but Brought lots of valuable treasures. Shenyang Imperial Palace was located in Shenyang, China. It was built by Nuer Hachi, who was the founding Kehan of the later Jin. Shenyang Imperial Palace was a totally Manchuria-style palace. From 1625 to 1644. Nuer Hachi and the first two emperors of Qing lived here. After Qing conquered Ming, the capital was relocated from Shenyang to Beijing, but the Inner Manchuria was kept as reservation. 
Han Chinese were not allowed to enter this area. Shenyang Imperial Palace lost his imperial palace status and became a Xinggong resort. Although Qing royal family lived Shenyang, but their ancestors were buried here. So, if possible, Qing emperors came back Shenyang to worship their ancestors. In Qing dynasty, four emperors, Kangxi, Qianlong, Jiaqing, and Daoguang, totally visited Shenyang ten times. When those emperors stayed in Shenyang, they lived in Shenyang Imperial Palace. The last time of, of expanding this palace happened in 1780, when Qianlong lived here. After then, Shenyang Imperial Palace kept the same until today. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.